Today I'm going to be building a secret underground house using the new trap doors that Boxbag added. And this idea was actually inspired by paper person 179. That's a two. Paper person 529. So this is the trap door that Boxbag added. As you can see, we can literally open and close it. And if we put a basement right underneath this, we can literally head directly underneath into the abyss. We're going to name this plot Alaska's Secret Basement. Speaking of basements, you should join my Discord server, which is literally called Alaska's Mariah Carey Basement. And you rewind it and you work it, it can last forever. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay, so they're called wooden cellar doors and they're only $900, which actually is a bit of a steal if I say so myself. So we're just gonna place it here. Totally, totally normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm thinking we can have like a really long hallway. More doors here that lead into the lounge room. Then we can have like our bedroom over here, maybe our bathroom. Well, our kitchen can go in like this corner. And I'm thinking a secret computer room. Like I'm Bill from The Last of Us and I'm gonna prepare for the apocalypse. She got bit! She got bit! Calm down, calm down, calm down, just calm So now to layer this out, this is confusing. Okay, well, room here, which is going to be the tech room, office, I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty basic standard house. Well, technically it's not a house, it's a secret house. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. What am I trying to like achieve? Shut your stupid I also have no clue what theme we're gonna do for this house. Now, I was gonna go with like the Flintstones. Stones. That's not how you spell Flintstones. Oh my gosh. I was gonna do like a Flintstones underground house. So, like a cave like look to it. I feel like that could potentially turn out really cool. Or we can literally do the opposite of this and do like a futuristic underground house. Oh, <gasps> like we can make it very luxurious, add a bunch of like technology. You know what? I've always wanted to build a futuristic house. So, I think we're gonna head with futuristic. Oh my god. And this for the shower. <gasps> <gasps> Stop. Okay, yeah. We're definitely doing futuristic. Okay, the next thing we have to do is add a roof, but we're not actually going to be adding a roof because this is on the floor. So we're going to be adding a floor. See, totally normal. Nothing to see here. I promise we don't have a secret underground house right now. Okay, now I'm assuming we just put the cellar door right here. I feel like if this was the apocalypse, someone could easily break the cellar door. So we're going to make it out of like diamond plates. Now we actually have to find a way to get down into my little secret underground house. We either have a ladder or a staircase. You know, I feel like a ladder would work. And then we just have to plop this on top and then boom. Oh god, this is creepy. Um, well considering we're doing a futuristic interior, we're gonna use lots of white, like marble for the floor. And if we want to go that extra bit fancy, we can add horizontal neon lights on the top of our walls. And at the bottom as well, because you know, why not? You know what it feels like I'm building right now? The spaceship from The 100. Have you guys ever seen The 100? It's such a good show. It's set like 100 years after a nuclear apocalypse on Earth. Like, wiped out all of humanity, except for like these people on a spaceship. And uh, the spaceship's kind of dying. So then they have to send a hundred juveniles down to earth to see if it's uh livable spoiler alert it is oh <gasps> stop wait that looks kind of cool could you eat that this is technically our entryway like a big long hallway and i mean it is still pretty dark so we're just gonna fix up the lighting a little bit up here it's like a futuristic light we can use oh these are kind of cool yeah we'll add a few of these bad boys so in our entryway we're just gonna have like two console tables i mean what do you even have in an underground house i mean it wouldn't be a house about our iconic hook rack or as i like to say hook rack build hack well maybe we can have like paintings on the wall this is confusing me i'm staring at this too long and it looks like i'm looking at a mirror it's hurting my brain okay one more thing i want in this hallway is another door here so then this way there's two ways of entry because if we're doing like an underground secret bunker house we need it to be very secure so we'll even put one of these fancy doorbells right here okay so there's our very ominous creepy looking hallway which then leads to the living room you know i was gonna use these modern reveal doors hear me out these secret commercial walk-in corridors they kind of make the house look very futuristic oh my i just thought of the most genius idea okay i have an idea get rid of this floor you know what we're gonna use for the floor a pool and you're like alaska that's not gonna work because you're gonna fall right into the pool as soon as you walk in no we then put a flat glass roof never mind i stuffed it up oh my god <laughs> No, I was gonna put a flat glass roof on the top of this, but I just realized we're in a basement. You know what? No, I'm I'm not giving up. We're gonna put a transparent cube. And you know what? I don't care. We're gonna fill up this entire section with transparent cubes. This house is gonna be so expensive, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. And then boom shakalaka, we've got a poo floor. 
pool floor. Did I say pool floor? What? Except for the kitchen over here, because this is going to be made out of an actual floor. This feels illegal. It feels like I shouldn't be able to walk on this. Considering this is the living room, we need a big chandelier piece. Ew, why does that look like the back rooms right now? I'm scared. You know what? We're not going to use any of the basic lights. We're going to make our own. You're basic. Oh, this is so random, but the memory just came into my brain. I was over my friend's house last night and I literally hit my head on top of their fan. I thought that was the end of me. Anyway, that is our custom made chandelier. She's beauty, she's grace. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, she's Typically, I would have a rug in the middle, but I feel like a rug would ruin the pool. So we're just gonna place the couch straight on top. All right, Ooh. futuristic lounge. Oh, oval sofa for sure. Every single time I see these over, so over sofas, o oval sofas? <laughs> I automatically think of a futuristic house. You know what sucks about these oval sofas though? I can't place pillows on top. Foxberg, why do you let me add pillows the most difficult way when you could just let me automatically place them on the chair? Foxberg's probably sick of me complaining. They're like, Alaska, shut up. We don't want to hear it. I feel like living underground would be cool for like a day. Like imagine all the lights went off, it's just like pitch black. This fancy TV is like so small for the fireplace. Like if I place it there, I don't know why, it's just so tiny. I cannot, I have to use a painting. Last thing we need is a coffee table. We're gonna do a weird shaped coffee table. You know those resin tables? Like that. <gasps> Could you imagine watching a horror movie down here? How terrifying that would be. Imagine watching Jaws on top of a pool. Like, uh, no. Okay, there is our very unique looking living room. Also, if you were bored in here, I feel like you'd need something to do and I mean what's better than adding a bunch of books on a bookshelf do people even read books nowadays I feel like everyone just owns a Kindle also side note look how awesome these bookshelves look what's like a weird statue we can have underneath here what is this Ma Ma Maui Maui statue oh my god one thousand seven hundred dollars can we resize it? Oh my gosh, we can. Ooh, whoa, okay. I didn't know we could get that big. That's what she said. Imagine coming out of your room at nighttime and you see this. Hello. Hello, I'm Joseph Mourinho. Okay, so there is our living room. You know what would be super cool? So I'm kind of thinking with my brain. <laughs> What if we add a fish tank? So we can put like a painting here, right? And we change this to a fish tank. We're gonna add tall waterfalls and then a semi-transparent cube in the middle. I've always wanted a fish tank. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I used to own a fish tank. I had two fish tanks. I had like my tropical fish tank and I just had like my regular fish tank. The only thing that sucks about owning fish is that they die after like two days. Okay, there is our fish tank. So the next thing I want to work on is the kitchen and the dining room. Oh, that looks terrifying. How do we make like a futuristic kitchen though? I want to start off with the island bench. I have the perfect idea for the island bench. I'm telling you now, I have plans that I cannot share with you right now because the haters will sabotage me. Because we don't have much room in this underground house, this is also going to act as our dining table. So he's ready for this beauty. A cube like this, another cube on top, a cube grass, add a bunch of plants on top. I'm laughing because I don't know if it's going to work. I just thought of it in my brain. Brain. I'm like, oh yeah, this would be a good idea. I want to do like an overgrown vegetation island bench. <laughs> and then for our finishing touch, let me transparent cube in the middle. You know, sometimes when I'm building something in Bloxburg, it will either turn out disgustingly horribly. That's not even a word, but I'm keeping that in the video. <laughs> or it'll turn out really good. So you guys let me know if this table looks cool or not. What the hell? I think it looks cool, but we'll see. Everyone's watching this video like, um, Alaska, that table looks stupid. You know what? She is very gorgeous to me. She is very gorgeous to me. What am I doing? I just zoned out for like a solid five seconds. I just placed like five ovens on the- <laughs> What? I always end up adding like two ovens. I don't know what's my obsession with ovens. I love limes. <laughs> I love them. I hate modern counters because they are so expensive. For no reason. Oh, look at this futuristic kitchen. Ooga booga. Considering this is an underground house, I feel like there's a limit for how many people you can have down here. What are we missing? A sink? Oh, I feel like I'm missing something in this kitchen. We have an oven. We have a sink. I don't know. <laughs> 
Now the last thing we need in this kitchen is lights. And boom, as God said, let there be lights. I don't think I've ever used this much white in a build before. I feel like I'm going insane. It feels like I am building a mental asylum. For some reason, whenever I build a kitchen, I always forget what like accessories to add. No, we can add the jars up here. <gasps> Look, my friend's on the server, Ange. I actually don't call her Ange. I call her French Ange because she is French. Oui, oui, baguettes. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je cours une semaine. Je vais vous Merci beaucoup. Je baguettes. Ants just goes, what are you filming? I just realized people who join my server are probably so confused. There's just a trap door. And I've just been sitting in build mode for the past hour. You know what? It's Christmas season, baby. We're going to have our Christmas tree right here. Oh, I feel like we're missing something in this kitchen. I don't know what it is. Oh, a beverage fridge. Like no, God! No! We a little beverage fridge under here just in case we get thirsty. All right, next thing I want to work on is my bedroom. Oh, I've got like so many ideas that I want to do for my bedroom. First thing we're going to do is add the bed. We're going to do an elevated bed. I also don't want this bedroom to be very big. I'm not kidding. I just want it to be able to fit my bed and that is all. It always used to be my dream to have a floating bed with like stairs around it. The more pillows down here, the better. You're literally in an underground bunker house. It's going to be kind of lonely. You know what? We're going to leave these green lights. Guys, I know I'm a grown person, but can we just add a royal kid nightstand to our bed? Like, they look so cute. I don't care, I'm adding one. It's not a want, it's a need. Oh, great, italics here as well. Hi. I just said, Italic, you're gonna love this build. And she goes, what, what, what? Oh my God, you got me hyped. I changed my mind about the green lights around my bed. I hate them. Okay, now Paris is here. Yo, why am my whole admin team right here? I'm scared. You know what we're gonna have here? Another basement, right? Add a wall around this basement and add a bunch of plants. It can be like a little tiny forest garden with more of these waterfalls because I love them. They are, I think they are genuinely my favorite item in Bloxburg. These tall waterfalls, you buy me these and I'll marry ya. All right, everyone, moment of truth. Oh, it works beautiful and I'm thinking we can have another fireplace down here. You know what? The bedroom is actually looking pretty sick. We don't have much room left in here. We have a tiny little section here which is perfect for a study desk. And there is where we study in our underground house. I don't know what I was trying to achieve with this wall. I was trying to do some like modern art. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Okay so bedroom done. Now we have the bathroom. I already know that I want to do something like this like what I seen at the beginning of the video. Italics like let me in, let me in. In, please. Let me in, please. I changed my mind for the bathroom, by the way. I want to do like an oval shape. That is not an oval. What is that? I am so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast this morning and I'm like, <laughs> I need to eat. Okay. And what do you want me to do about that? And uh, oh, you guessed it. More, more waterfalls. I've spent like 200 blocks bucks on these waterfalls today. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. I feel like we need a wall here to kind of separate the shower. Oh, this shower. I want to spend all my days in here. If we want to make the shower look really foggy, I mean, we could add fog machines at the bottom. That looks kind of steamy. We're going to use these mounted sinks. I haven't used these in a while. However, we're on God's green. Green earth, am I gonna be placing the bathtub? Technically, I can place the bathtub in here. Actually, yeah, bathtub, you can go right there. Right, over here, we can have our towels and then the toilet can go right here. It's crazy how much lighting can affect your build. Like no matter how nice your furniture is, if you don't have nice lighting in your house, your house won't look as good. Thank you, next Like This was before lighting and then this was after. Like, hello? Hello. Now the last room we have to do in here is the security room or AKA my office. So we're gonna have the desk in the middle of the office facing the door, which is really weird for me. Computer here, a bunch of TVs on the wall. Like I'm not kidding. And lastly, some security cameras around the house. <gasps> this looks so creepy without lights. All right, ready? Before lights, after lights. Still creepy, but a little bit less creepy. And then on the opposite side of our really creepy office, we're gonna place these shelving units and have a bunch of like paperwork on here. Okay, so our security room is done, which means the underground house is fully complete. So the underground house comes to a total of $165,000. So let's have a look inside. Yeah, this is my house. It's very beautiful. Oh, okay. What just, what just happened? I hate when you guys do that. Okay, are you guys ready to see the underground house? Okay, after you. So, oh. <laughs> so as soon as you come down here, we have a very, very long, ominous hallway. Guys, I think Italic likes the underground house. I'm screaming. So yeah, this is the hallway. It's pretty basic. I think I really like this uh, living room. Oh my days. 
hate you, what is this? <laughs> This is meant to be the TV. Get it? Because your name's Italic. Yeah, this is the living room. I love the water on the floor. Let's just hope uh, it doesn't break. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> I actually love this kitchen. This table actually turned out really nice. I didn't know how to feel about it at first, but I actually really like it now. Hold on, let me get a screenshot. I'm so using this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cute. The kitchen, however, is very, very white, but that's kind of what we're going for. Oh my gosh, a fridge. I forgot a fridge. The one thing I forgot in the kitchen was a fridge. Oh my Lord. Okay, besides forgetting a fridge, I think this turned out really nice. You know what? Italic actually suits this house with her outfit. Now to the left of the kitchen, we have the bedroom, which has an elevated bed mode. Moment. Over in this corner is where we have a little study desk. Some vegetation. I don't know what's my obsession with that word today. I'm scared. Italic just goes, um, Alaska Pookie doll love. Why is there a camera <laughs> in the bedroom? Oh, um, so I can watch you sleep. Paris just said Kim K part two. Anyway, moving on. No, I don't tell you though. It's not, you know, on Roblox. Oh, this is our little fish tank as well, by the way. I kind of forgot about this. Yeah, this is Nemo, Dory, and, um, Melvin. So here we have the bathroom. Oh my god, I forgot a decal. Guys, yep, promise I didn't forget a decal. Here is the bathroom. My favorite thing about this bathroom is very clearly the shower. I mean, hello, tell me this doesn't look the total vibe right now. Look, it's spacious enough for three people. I don't know how I feel about this toilet though. Oh, okay, guys, privacy, please. Uh, last room we have in here is, well, the security room. It's <laughs> it's giving Five Nights at Freddy's right now. I also kind of look like a monkey from Toy Story. And um, this is where we we can uh, view the security cameras and spy. Okay, you cannot see anything in the security camera. Okay, this is the lounge room. Can't see much. What about the bedroom? What's, oh, what's going on in the bedroom? Um, okay, right. I'm wildly concerned as to what's going on in this bedroom. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna shut this door. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little futuristic secret underground house. I'm pretty sure Italic has officially moved in now. I'm getting kicked out of my own house. So I'm gonna end this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.